everybody. Um, today I have with me a matte artifact here. This matte artifact is suitable for grade twos. Uh, well, according to Levi Gotsky, who is the, the king of social cultural theory, uh, learners should go through the process of scaffolding to help them reach their full potential. This game here will be an interaction between the learners um, amongst themselves and the teacher. The teacher will be helping the learners reach their full potential by being involved and interacting with them throughout the game. Um, we're also going to be using the process of approach to learning, uh, where we'll be using different centers for the learners to learn. They'll be using uh, the sense of touch, where they'll be feeling these cue cards, which they're going to be using throughout the games. They're also going to be using touch to touch all, the, all the, these balls, which are going to be essential, which are going to be an essential part of the game. They'll also be uh, using the sensory skill of listening, where they'll be listening to the teacher who's going to be giving them out sums, where they'll be using to uh, play the game. They'll also be using um, the sense of speaking, the sense, the sense. Oh, yeah, the sense, right? Yeah, the sense of speaking where they'll be talking and counting out the balls in total during the game. Um, this game also enhances one of the most special and essential skills of the 21st century learning, which is collaboration. They'll be collaborating with their fellow um, classmates and the teacher. They will be working together throughout this game. This math artifact will be um, assisting learners with learning how to add small individual numbers. They'll be using numbers uh, from zero to nine. Um, with me here, I have flashcards, which are gonna be because the representation of the numbers. So they'll be using these um, different numbers on the flashcards to create sums that the teacher is gonna call out for them to create. For example, the teacher could just say, um, I'm giving you the sum, three plus two. The learners will be required to go through these sets of flashcards, look for the number three, and look for the number two. Then they will be required to come to these individual poles that are here to represent, um, no, they're not here to represent anything, but just for them to put the poles, which I'm going to explain after explaining this. They'll take the number three, paste it here, take the number two, paste it here. So there's a plus that is in the middle for them to add to make up the sum that the teacher had said. So if the teacher says three plus five, the learners will come here as a pair, look through the flashcards. Here's the number two. The, they will find the number two. One learner will also be required to find the number three. Then the, the learner who's going to be on the left will be required to take the number two and paste it on the pole. Then the other learner who's going to be on the right will be required to take the number three and paste it on the other pole. They must be. They must remember to listen carefully to the sums um, that the teacher is going to call out because if the teacher starts with the number two and then says plus three, then the learner on the left is required to have the number two, respectively, like that. They cannot mix up the numbers. This can after the learners have created the sum, which is displayed beautifully here. We have the, we can see the two, and we can see the plus, and we can see the three. The, um, they use their sense of listening while um, they were listening to the teacher pulling out the sum, and then they took the, the individual numbers from the flashcards here, and then they created the sum. The learners will be then required to come to the front. They'll have a set of balls here. They'll be required. The learner on the left will come to the front. Take two balls respectively as the uh, flashcard says. They will then be required to count out the balls loudly for all the learners in the class to hear. So they will be, uh, for example, the learner on the left has two, so they count out one, two. And then the learner on the right will come to the front two and count out three balls for the three that is represented on their flashcard. They will need to count out loud for all the learners to hear. One, two, three. After that, they will be required to then take their individual balls and throw them into the pole. Remember, we said that um, we have poles at the back of the numbers that is just there to represent or to help them rather um, add the balls together. So the learner on the left will have number two. So they'll have two balls for them. They will then take the two balls, throw them inside the pole. You know when you're playing basketball and you need to shoot that's what they'll be doing just with the exception of throwing so they'll just need to like carefully put the numbers inside their pole 
while putting the numbers inside the poll, they need to count the numbers out loud so we can all know that they understand their numbers and they know what they're doing. So they must repeat the sum out loud for all of the, the learners in the class to hear. So they they both need to say two plus three, and then take two balls for the learner on the left, throw them inside the pole one, two. The learner on the right will also need to go on the right, count their balls, which is three balls, and then throw them inside the pole. One, two, three. After that, we have an equal sign here, which is a representation of the total amount of balls that are there after adding two balls and three. So they'll be then required to count the numbers all to together. They're going to be required to count the numbers together, which means they're going to be collaborating and working on the sum. Remember collaboration, one of the most important 21st century skills um, education. So they'll be then required to count one, two, three, four, five. So this, this means um, that in total, two plus three is equal to five. Fun, right?